எல்லோருக்கும் எனது மாலை வணக்கங்கள் Oh yeah is right buddy Good evening ladies and gentlemen First off I would like to congratulate the recipients of the awards on a well deserved recognition And I also want to first off thank my wife Sue who is in the audience tonight for being my pillar of strength a cheerleader also as a disciplinarian from time to time the last role she plays i'm not so fond of but thank you sue for being on the ride with me i would also like to thank the canadian tamil chamber of commerce for giving me this opportunity today to speak with you i'm truly humbled to share my story my experience and my and my thoughts on life my childhood was marred by unimaginable savagery that nearly ended my life it is actually a miracle that i am standing in front of you in my late 40s sensing that there was no future for me in sri lanka my father decided to send me out of the country at that very young age for a better safe and thought safe life and thought canada might be that land of opportunity <clears throat> three days after i landed right here in toronto 31 years ago on april 21st 1988 my father was shot and killed my father's untimely death left me with the feeling that i had to live for two people i thought if i did well enough in life somehow i could make up for the life he should have had perhaps we all should do our best so that our kids won't feel the same way when we pass on because death steals everything except the stories statistics are human stories with tears washed off i am one of those stats but i am not unique in this many of you in this room have taken monumental risk and crossed many oceans many nations and arrived here for a better life I long believe the over the top optimist hallucinate pessimists get depressed however both will not get anywhere in life but hopelessness is an awful state of mind this reminds me of the great tamil poet kaviyarasu kannadasan's lyrics from the song mayakama kalakama he said walkai enral aayiram irukkum vaasal thorum vedane irukkum vanda thunbam edu enralum vaadi nenral oduvadillai edayam thaangum idayam irundal virudhi verakkum amaidhi irukkum for the non tamil audience non tamil speaking audience it is loosely translated life has numerous struggles whatever the sufferings are if you stand they are defeated the problems won't run away but if you can bear anything there will be peace to the end during my personal struggles I came to the realization that there was was not the weight that broke me down it was the way I carried it so I had to change there are two kinds of pains in this world pain that hurts and the pain that alters 
And I realized what was in the way is the way. I started to see everything the way it was. That is ruthless pragmatism. And we need that to win in life. Resistance makes muscles grow and resistance makes people grow. Humans do better in adversity than in luxury. Adversity is an opportunity to determine the best course of action. Calm oceans never created a skilled sailor. It is the pressure that makes the basketball bounce. Fate, they say, designs destiny, and it is unstoppable. We Tamils took many risks since we arrived here. Defining who we are as Tamils by what we are not is the first step that led us to really knowing who we are as people. Let us not wait for whatever the event to define us. What defines us has already happened. We are resilient, determined, hardworking, and driven people. This room is a testament to that. And we know that dreams doesn't become a reality through magic. When we arrived, English was not our first language, but our hopes and dreams were recognizably Canadian. In just one generation, in just one generation, we have lifted ourselves out of misery and into prosperity. And Tamils are now well represented in business, in academia, and in the field of medicine, and in politics. Canada gave us a second lease on life. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to this land. I am proud to say that we have become one of the most successful immigrant groups in Canada. Now that we are here, we must make sure that our future generation can carry on to the next level of success. Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce must play a positive role in that transition by bridging the young and the old so that collectively we Tamils can leave this wonderful country better than we have found it. <clears throat> to the next generation in the room and across the globe, I like to say to you that don't be afraid of change, but be afraid of not changing. It is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves said mountaineer Sir Edmund Hillary. Regardless of whether it is conscious or unconscious, success or failure is a choice. The ironic thing about failure is that you will fail at some point in your life. You will embarrass yourself. There is no doubt about it. Because failure is part of living a full life. Failure is success if you learn from it. Never let failure to define you or distract you. Instead, allow setbacks to strengthen you. When you quit giving time to failure, you will find yourself ruthlessly pragmatic. So step forward into growth and potential success. Otherwise, you will slip back into safety and into definite failure. 
It is having the right perspective. I tell this story to my staff all the time, and I'm sure they're tired of listening to it, so I thought I'll try it into the new audience. Bada Shoe Company, many of you know, may recognize, I used to wear a pair of Bada um, slippers back in Sri Lanka. It's a company out of, the, out of Europe. The owner of Bada Shoes, Thomas Bada, realized the European shoe market has saturated, so he sent two of his salesmen to Africa to explore new opportunities. The first salesman sent a cable back to the head office which read, no one wears shoes in Africa, I see no potential. Second salesman sent a cable back which read, everyone is barefoot, I see infinite opportunity. The moral of the story here is, opportunities are never lost. Someone will make the ones you miss. The secret to knowing in which direction you step is to choose each step carefully. But choosing to step forward towards pursuing your life goals could bring with it the fear of the unknown. But you must ask yourself this question. Is it better to boldly succeed or is it better to safely fail? The last freedom a person have is to choose their own behavior. It is about progress, not about perfection. To that end, never receive counsel from unproductive people. Never discuss your problems with someone incapable of contributing to the solution because those who never succeeded themselves are always, always the first to tell you how. Stop giving time and energy to negative thoughts. An important attribute in successful people is their impatience with the negative thinking and negative acting people. If life had two lines, one called compliance, the other one called gratitude, most people will waste their precious life by waiting in the complaint line. The less you associate with these type of people, the more your life will improve. No one can govern these except yourself. So take the lid off the self-made restrictions you have put on yourself and always, always play like an underdog. Exhaust your potential. Don't quit until you have nothing else to give. You are given a toolbox and a set of tools. You're supposed to work those tools as hard as you can for every heartbeat you got. How many heartbeats do you have left? Nobody knows. So take every heartbeat as a very big deal and go for it. The Iron Lady, the late great Margaret Thatcher once said, your thoughts becomes your word your words becomes your action, your actions becomes your character, and your character becomes your destiny. So go on now and change your destiny because what is in the way is the way. Walka Tamil Moli, Walka Tamil Moli.